Hi Virgo, welcome to July 2019. This is a powerful month because we have the eclipses. The first eclipse is a total solar eclipse on July 2nd for you bringing the focus to your hopes and wishes, your goals, where you hang out, your tribe. And that is followed by the total lunar eclipse in your sister sign Capricorn on July 16th in the area of creative self-expression, true love, romance. I mean, this is actually a really good place to have eclipses if we have to have them <laughs> because both signs harmonize with you. Cancer sextiles you. That means opportunity. Capricorn trines you, harmonious energy flow. So any planets you have in Virgo receives positive energy. Now eclipses are always tough because they eclipse us and they change us. They bring completions and beginnings or beginnings and completions. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? The egg or the chicken? <laughs> Some people will say the egg, others will say the chicken. So this is, the area for you is, is the love you give to others, the love you receive from others. So, you know, part of this is about opening doors for you in the area of love, romance, creative self-expression, hopes and wishes, sudden luck, sudden opportunity. And this Cancer Solar Eclipse is interesting because Uranus, the Awakener, the planet of creativity and breakthroughs and genius, is sextile, this new moon. It is the closest planet to the new moon in Cancer. And so it is about moving out into new areas, being open to new relationships, being open to new friendships, being open to new groups, being open to new goals. Now, we don't all have to get it done in July, but the doors are opening here. Your avatar Mercury retrogrades on the 7th. <laughs> yeah, July is going to be dynamic. He starts out in Leo, and then he moves back into Cancer on the 19th. He backs into Cancer. And so for some of you, you may be feeling like your inner foodie wants to come out and play. This is a great month for you to take a cooking class. And then bring your friends over and nourish other people. You're going to be feeling this energy strong about nourishing yourself and nourishing others. Grab a Pisces friend and go take a cooking class and then feed your family, feed your friends, feed your tribe because this will bring you more joy than you could possibly imagine. And it's just good for you. Now, the Cancer New Moon is in harmony with Uranus, which I like, it's sextile. And that means opportunity. We do have to put some effort into it, but it brings opportunity. So there can be opportunity here for you to move up in what you're doing. This is very favorable for you. So you could experience favorable circumstances in your professional life, in your career, in your vocation, in your business. Even with the eclipses going on, and Mercury retrograde. We don't stop business when Mercury goes retrograde. We slow down. The message is saying, slow down, heal your body, take your time. But we don't stop commerce. Otherwise, we'd stop commerce three months out of the year. <laughs> and that just doesn't make sense. It's an opportunity to review. For you, it's about reviewing your goals reviewing where you are so far this year in 2019 and where you want to be and reflecting on that. 
it's not even appropriate to take action. I mean, you can, there's nothing wrong with taking action. However, the message in here in July, until Mercury goes direct on the 31st, is to re review, reflect, and strategize with your goals, your intentions of what it is you want to manifest here in the coming months. And I don't know if you've had a chance, any of you, to look at your Virgo new moon in August. It's phenomenal. I was blown away how great it is. It really is amazing. It has grand earth trines everywhere with Uranus and Saturn. And the divine lovers are sitting together in Virgo. So there is the start of new love here for you. It's, it's heating up now. It's heating up in August and certainly in September. It can be a new friendship. It can be a new project. It can be all of the above. <laughs> Why not? And this is a month where you're getting enlightenment. Like you're getting the, like this enlightenment is coming to you with what you love to do as well as romance and your day-to-day -day life, your day-to-day -day activities. <laughs> Mercury's already challenging me with my speaking ability. Now, the Capricorn lunar eclipse, this is interesting. Now, both of these uh, eclipses also have a Saturn theme here. The first one, the Cancer solar eclipse Saturn is opposing but it's very loose it's a wide margin of seven degrees so as the moon separates then the moon is dancing with Saturn and then of course seven days later the Sun will be in direct opposition to Saturn and that's definitely rest recharge your batteries slow it down and also there's so much retrograde in here in July Saturn is retrograde, Pluto is retrograde, Neptune is retrograde, Uranus is retrograde, Jupiter is retrograde, and now Mr. Mercury is retrograde. It's time to slow down and nourish your inner foodie. <laughs> I love food, as you can tell. <laughs> so, uh, you know, Saturn, you know, as Saturn moves with the moon, you know, it's, it is about looking at that balance of giving and receiving. For you in the area of love relationships friendships it can even be clients and customers or patients and really what is the balance here and are we giving more than we're receiving Virgo has a tendency to do that you know what I'm talking about when it comes to your relationships and you want to fix save and rescue and Saturn is pointing out that that's not appropriate for you because if you're always giving, then you're only going to attract people that want to receive and aren't givers. So if we want that balance. Let's bring it you know, to a balance. And that may come to your awareness at the Capricorn full moon on the 16th that is here in the area of true love, romance, and uh, the love you give to others. And that moon is coupled with Pluto, which is very intense. It is separating, and it, that makes it even more intense. There are times where your emotions can feel raw and urgent, or you may be obsessing about someone, or a project. You could be obsessing about a project. That's Pluto. Pluto rules obsession. And the moon is in Capricorn, separating from Pluto and Saturn rules Capricorn so there is that Capricorn Saturn energy as well and Saturn is directly opposing Venus because Venus entered cancer on the third and is directly op opposing uh, Venus on the 16th so this will be crystal clear to you by the time of this full moon of uh, you know if there is a relationship where you know karmic relationships is where we are doing the given and not receiving or 
you know, unrequited love or obsessional love where we're just obsessed with someone and maybe not even like them, you know, but we can't seem to, you know, get away from them. And, you know, so Saturn can be bringing that to your attention as to what do we need to clean up here? What do we need to heal here? What do we need to do with ourselves so that we're taking better care of ourselves? And you're focusing on the wonderful work opportunities that are happening for you here, June, July, August, and so on. So now that doesn't mean, now this isn't for everybody. This is for some Virgos and, you know, who are, you know, dealing with, you know, someone difficult, someone who may be narcissistic and, you know, not aware of how much they're taking and using and not being generous with themselves because they can't. When you're a narcissist, you got nothing to give. So be aware if the package is really pretty on the outside, but when you open it up, yikes! You know, out, out comes uh, Darth Vader <laughs> or uh, Medusa. <laughs> so it's an opportunity to slow down and focus on what you want and what you need. During the cycle of Cancer and Capricorn, it is about what you need. Cancer rules this part, and we all have needs, emotional, spiritual, physical, play. We need to play, and you need to play. And that's why it's good for you to work with your inner foodie, because there's a big focus in the area of play for you this month. Although I know, you know, like how much fun do we have with Saturn in this area? Pluto's been in there since 2008, and Saturn, you know, serious fun, <laughs> oxymoron. Can fun be serious? Eh, why not? Sure, if you're doing a project that's important, but yet fun for you, that's serious fun. What is completing for you? For some of you, you might be completing a relationship. You might be completing a project, which is totally appropriate because you are getting ready for your own birthday cycle here, right around the corner. But Saturn is giving us this lovely reality check with whatever we're doing. You know, Venus rules what we love and value and relationships. So it is an opportunity to look at how your relationships are serving you and are they serving you? You know, are those relationships honoring you? And if not, what, what are you learning from this? You know, because sometimes we need to learn that it's not about giving more. It's actually about raising our standards so that we are not settling for less, but that we're settling for more. And that could be it too, Virgo, is that Saturn is here to teach you to settle for more. Go for more. Ask for more. Raise your rates. Increase your prices. Now, you don't have to do it when Mercury's retrograde. You can do it in August. You can do it in September. But the thought is being planted now is what this is about. And using this energy appropriately. Now, the Sun enters Leo on the 22nd, and Venus follows the Sun on the 27th. So now it is about completions for you. In the cycle of Leo, it is about finishing things up, getting things done, getting ready for your birthday cycle, getting ready for the sun to move into Virgo in August on the 22nd, and then your phenomenal new moon. I can't wait to come back in August and do your astrology. It's very exciting. I, I was like blown away when I looked at the chart. I was like, whoa, this is so good. And phenomenal. Now, this is what I've been talking about for years with you guys is that, you know, with the Uranus in harmony with your new moon and Saturn forming these grand Earth trines off your planets, that's prosperity, that's abundance, that's success, that's opportunities coming your way, you know, really helping you. And then we have a Leo new moon this month on July 31st. 
Now, in, on the West Coast, it's at 8.11 p.m. Here on the East Coast, it's at 11.11 .11 p.m. In Europe, it will be right after midnight on August 1st. And this is a fantastic new moon. The sun and the moon are coupled together with Venus in Leo. That's love. That's a new start in love. And Mars is in Leo. Mars entered Leo on July 1st. He's coupled with Juno, coupled with Juno, the wife of Jupiter. It's the Mercury retrograde, like the syllables, syllables don't want to be formed in my mouth. So Juno, the wife of Jupiter, coupled with Mars, that shows me a healing here. So it's, it's you know, by, by standing up for yourself or wherever you need to be more direct, I see a healing coming by the end of the month. So even if people are like, oh, well, I don't know why you raised my rate or, gee, I don't know why you won't see me on a Saturday night. Uh, I mean, a customer or a client, uh, you know, because you set a boundary and raise your standard, right? So um, by the end of the month, it's like, wow, I get it. Um, there's this amazing healing happening. And Venus in Leo is being uh, trying harmonious energy flow by Chiron in Aries. That's healing. That's a heal heart being healed. That's uh, relationships being healed. And with Mars coupled with Juno, that's the male-female energy being healed. Uh, partners being healed. Relationships being healed. And it's all being tried. Positive energy flow by Jupiter. Jupiter is trining the sun, trining the moon, trining Venus, trining Mars. This is fantastic. And that creates opportunity. Now for you, this is going on behind the scenes because Leo is 12 signs from you, so it brings the action to your own subconscious mind. It brings the action to unfinished business and how you get in your own way. So see this healing coming in here for you? So this is amazing. All of this healing energy that's happening for Virgo in July, and then right after the Leo new moon, Mercury moves direct on the 31st. And that means take action here at the end of the month, but I'd say more August, you know, because, I mean, you could take action at 11, 11 uh, p.m. However, it's most likely going to come in August and September where you're really moving things out in a major way. But that doesn't mean opportunities aren't being brought to you here in July. And take them. If you've been waiting for a promotion, take the promotion. If a job opportunity comes up and you want to put in your resume, put it in. See where it goes. Absolutely take advantage of this energy because it's very harmonious with you. Capricorn pours positive energy into your planets. Cancer harmonizes with your planets. The Leo new moon is fantastic. There's a lot of love here. There's a lot of healing going on. It could be healing you on very deep levels. And it nourishes you. That's why, you know, working with food this month is very good for you. And feeding others is going to bring you more joy than you could possibly imagine. And I see you having this enlightenment this month in the area of what you love to do what gives you passion and romance. So this is really good what's happening with all of you. And new doors are going to open in the area of new love, a new path, a new life of what your heart desires. And it is important that you say how you really feel, especially with Mercury moving back into Cancer. Cancer is I feel how I, you know, that the key words for Cancer is I feel. Allow for your feelings to guide you and do what nourishes you. Allow for what's being revealed to you this month in the area of your hopes and wishes. Because there could be something that comes up here that it's like this new hope, this new wish that is important to you now or a new goal. I want to achieve this this year or next year. 
Now I'm going to be offering my course here in August about being a YouTube insider, like having your own YouTube channel. Have you thought about that? Or do you have a channel and you want to take it to the next level? I can help you do that. You could totally move into a new direction with this energy and multiply whatever you're doing with YouTube. Video is the future. This is what all the platforms want now. They want video. And I'll be offering hands-on training. I do my workshops live and I'm, they're interactive. And uh, people just love my courses. And you have lifetime access to the material. So you continuously gain from the knowledge that you learn and apply. Now, for those of you open for love, it's on. You know, you have the Cancer New Moon at this time. And there's this also deja vu energy in here, pretty big this month, you know, with all the retrograde. So you could be meeting someone new, but you feel like you've, you know, it's, it's, it's a past experience in repeating. Like the, the energy of the person um, brings up similar dynamics. So watch for what plays out, you know, and who comes in and what they are mirroring for you. You know, are they repeating a past relationship? Are they repeating uh, a past circumstance or experience that you've had? And this could be a friendship too, or a business colleague. It doesn't have to be um, romance, but it can be. It can be as well. For those of you coupled, you know, if there's any challenge going on at the eclipses with your partner, things really smooth out by the end of the month. And there's a healing. So, you know, by the end of July going into August, you know, whatever conflict comes up, there's a, a very strong energy of healing for partners in relationships, which is beautiful. But I think it's important that you speak your truth and ask for what you need and stand for that and then allow for the energies to move forward and bring that healing for everyone as well. Career looks good even in July with Mercury Retrograde. And you could be offered a professional opportunity or um, your business is being given an opportunity and you want to consider things. Doesn't mean you have to take action in July. You can, as long as you know, you're looking at everything and being thorough. You, you know, business doesn't wait. Commerce doesn't wait, even when it slows down. Money looks good too. You have a very big focus in the area of your money, the money you make from the business you own. And you know, for those of you that teach or are in sales or publish, there is strong financial potential here for attracting more abundance and prosperity here in July with what you do for work. And that's good news too. Health, the message is to slow down, take better care of yourself, nourish your inner foodie, <laughs> and feed the world. <laughs> Spiritually, this is another powerful spiritual month. Now this time the moons are in positive energy flow with Neptune. Neptune is trining the Cancer New Moon. Unlike in June this month, Neptune is challenging us. <sighs> so intense with that Neptune energy. And Neptune is uh, also still trining the Cancer Sun and sextile the Capricorn uh, lunar eclipse. So it is a positive energy. And this energy is all about slowing down, listening, meditating, being out in nature, being creative, being in the moment, grounding, 
right? I like to walk barefoot, especially on the grass, to ground right into Gaia and allow for the earth to heal me. So you can heal by laying on the ground, the, the grass, <laughs> not the cement, <laughs> the, the soil, the grass. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, favoring, sharing, and subscribing to my videos. Virgos, you're awesome. You're totally rocking awesome. And if you would like to sign up for my free webinar here, August 1st, we're going to be uh, having so much fun and totally learning the technology and how to use it to grow your brand, grow your business. And when you sign up in the show more section, it's also up in the cards and the annotations at the end. You go to my website and you get the free gift. The Love Your Business program is $77 value. It's my gift to you for joining us. And until next time, very